the Nangra, the true original Gaza, and I'm so glad that you could join me for the first in the Investigata series, Ask Gata. And I'm going to be doing the um, questions that you guys sent in. Thank you very much for doing that, by the way. So let's get started. What made you start wearing synthetic threads, and do you do them yourself? I always wanted to try them. I actually started out with a green and black wig, partial, you know, with partial um, dreads on it. I hate to say dreads because there's nothing really dreadful about them. So usually I say lock. I started out with that. I was inspired by seeing them all over the internet. A person I knew had gotten some and they were just horribly expensive. And I said, you know what, I'm going to do this myself. So I looked up a bunch of tutorials and just started experimenting. When I got with the, my boyfriend, Denise, who's one of my dancers, um, I said to him, because I had always just been rocking micro braids all the time, and I said, you know what, I've always wanted to um, do lock extensions and put them in. Tamara of um, IQ Glamour had always inspired me there. I loved her work, and there were a couple of people whose work I love, LS7. So I said, I always wanted to do it. And he said, well, what's stopping you? And I was like, I don't know, I just never considered wearing them full time. I just had them on the wig. And he was like, I triple dog bear you. Well, I wasn't going to pass that up. So I put in a partial install of the green and black lines and never looked back. Just been wearing them ever since. Off and on, growing in my natural hair. My hair is natural to me, so... I make them myself, as, as I said, to answer that question. I do sit here and I, I experiment and I just make them and I install them myself too. And they probably don't look the best once they're installed, but they work, you know, and I do get complimented on my hair quite a bit, so. <laughs> the next question I have is, where are you really from? You are too weird to be from New York, New Jersey. <laughs> okay yes I am really from Newark New Jersey this is my hometown I've always lived here save for maybe a few years in South Orange and crashing in little places like East Orange or whatever but Newark I was born here I was bred here I was raised here um, someday I'll probably leave here but I don't see that happening anytime soon you know to live in another you know state or whatever this it's always been my home it is what it is so yeah I hope that answered your question okay there is a rumor your name is really Gata is this true yes it is my name is Gata Gata Pantera Negra um, with two R's why two R's because girl <laughs> I know I'm silly but that that was part of it I changed my name legally so it is indeed my name what you see is what you get I did it for spiritual reasons. My totem animals are the black cat in domestic form and the black panther. So I changed my name to reflect both of those things. You know, I've come into it. I mean, I've been calling myself Gata forever and somebody's been calling me Gata since, or cat in some form or fashion ever since I was a little girl. Um, the Gata thing I think actually did start and I didn't even realize it until you know little things kept popping up telling me you know that this was the way that I needed to go I had an ex-boyfriend who lived in the South Bronx and he was Puerto Rican and he used to sometimes say you know you're just like a little Gata you know so I was like okay you know and just never thought of it again we were really young at the time, so. I've always been a cat to somebody. I had a dream of the goddesses past and Sekhmet, and they said I needed to embrace who I was fully. I sort of half-assed it, which they didn't appreciate, so I had to go full on and embrace who I really was. The name that I had before had so much uh, negativity and stigma hung on it. I wanted to shed all of that 
and rechristened myself with a new name and something that meant something to me and reflected who I really was. So Saturn return happened and then that happened at around the same time. So yes, my name really is Gata. What are the scars on your arms about? Well, the usual excuse is there are a lot of mean cats around. <laughs> or another excuse was we were hostages and the hostage takers were angry that the demands weren't met. So they took it out on us. But that's not the real answer. The real answer is I was a self-injurer. I started when I was a teenager and fell off when I was a teenager and started um, a little later into my adulthood and at one point I picked up and it was like I had never stopped doing it. So I had to go into recovery and I did go into recovery and I have not self-injured in approximately seven years. Yeah, not, not, not one time. Well, the scars are there. They're going to be there, and there's not much I can really do about them. I forget that they're there until somebody points them out to me, and I find myself either having to explain or coming up with one of those handy little excuses I just gave you. But though, that is what the scars are. It's not some kind of body mod. It's, it's not something that I, I did to be cute. It was an expression of my pain and me being able to fix that pain right away because I couldn't fix the other pain straight away. Are you just using Asian culture as a gimmick like a certain female rapper who shall remain nameless? No. When I was little my mom was always taking me to museums and restaurants and you know she liked Japanese culture a lot. I always kind of, you know, checked in and out of it as far as the fashion. And I really didn't get full on into what was going over there fashion-wise until maybe in my 20s. I always loved, you know, the, the animes and manga. I just wanted to look like that, okay? You know, the big colorful hair and the big expressive eyes, and that's just something I always wanted to be. I guess inadvertently I just always ended up adopting that sort of fashion you know i used to dress like a little girl sometimes with the school girl i love school girl outfits that was like one of my favorite things to wear and um knee socks and you know it wasn't quite lolita but it was girlish that got a thing i learned about and i just started i always over accessorized any anyway i think at one point in my life i was going to school with like 90 bangles on this arm you know, I've always been drawn to that culture and always wanted to do things. Travel to Japan someday. It's part of my heritage as it is. Um, my dad's great-grandfather was Japanese, so I don't consider it appropriating. If it's something you really, really love and you really relate to, I'm not saying that to necessarily justify it, but I thought I would bring that up, you know, that it is part of my heritage. But, you know, it's always been a part of my life somehow, and I've fallen in love with it. So, it's not a gimmick, it's just another way to express part of who I am and amplify the Gata Negra brand. Um, when you see me, get amplified me. When you meet me in person, you know, or who I am around my friends and family, it's still me, but when I'm on stage, it's just bigger. So, more stuff, more color, more accessories, it just translates into me. What you see is what you got. Are you really a wrestling fan? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm a wrestling fan. Who's your fave? My fave of all time. I'm a big old Hardy's mark. I admit it. I've always been. Ever since I first saw them in the ring, it was just like, oh my god, Hardy's. Hardy's. Out of the two, I suppose Jeff is my favorite, but I love Matt Hardy. I love their story. They inspire me. And, you know, I guess um, that's what they set out to do anyway. But, you know, they literally started 
from nothing and they made something out of nothing and that's pretty much what hip-hop is something out of nothing they always complain that you know we don't play instruments we don't do this and we don't do that hip-hop was basically making something out of nothing we used what we had we had records we had turntables um, we had a way to set up parties in the park so we built a culture from four different elements and styles and five if you count consciousness and just went from there and I guess for that reason you know there's something from nothing thing that's why they're my fans right now who's hot for me right now is as far as Divas I suppose Naomi is my favorite right now um, and as far as the guys I'm really liking Neville <laughs> Because I'm a high flyer girl. I love high flyers. So anybody who can do all of that flying around stuff in the ring is okay in my book. Why did you stop saying that you are a cosplay rapper? I did say that. I did have that as part of the brand at one point. I partially stopped saying that because uh, I wanted to not necessarily move away from the cosplay aspect of what it is in my act. I wanted to not pigeonhole myself so much by saying that I'm a cosplay rapper because I'm not necessarily locked into portraying different characters. Um, I am a character even though it is me. I like to incorporate different things from cosplays like something that people might recognize. I get this honest because uh, my dad used to be a front man for a couple of bands and he was always kind of dressing up as a character. Um, he was a burglar and he was um, Dark Gable, the Black Baron, so he would have like the aviator hat and the pants and he would just go out on stage and be badass. I get it honest, so this is just me carrying on that tradition. It's in the blood, you know, music and, and performing is kind of the family business. But I moved away from the whole cosplay rapper thing because it just kind of put me in a box and didn't allow me room to move. It was more accurate for me to say cat girl because I am a necro girl. I'm a cat girl in the ear. That, you know, could be considered cosplay, but I consider it more a part of who I actually am as opposed to just putting on something and going out and dressing up and pretending to be somebody else. I'm actually giving you me when you see me on stage or when you meet me in person. Why is your pic different from when I saw you in person? You look heavier in person. Yes, somebody actually <laughs> asked me that. Um, because it's called Photoshop. No, I was different looking when the pictures were taken. And yes, they did retouch, like, you know, my face so it would look smoother or something. It has recently come to my attention that I have a thyroid disorder. I've gained some weight, um, especially since those pictures. And I'm working on finding, making sure I get the best care possible so that I can come back down to a better weight because it would be really frustrating to be this weight. I know a lot of people say, you know, people use the thyroid thing as an excuse. Well, for me, nope. It is definitely a thing. I'm not gonna stay like this, uh, hopefully not for long. Regardless of whatever weight I am at, you are still getting me. I have the same face, just a little fuller, you know. I'm still the same person, and I'm still capable of giving you everything that you came to see. Thank you guys so much for actually, you know, sending me questions. I'm so grateful that, you know, that there are people out there who do want to know things. But if there's anything else you'd like to know, please, you know, click the link that, you know, or the card that's on the screen. And um, you can go to my Tumblr, which will be in the description. And, you know, click the Ask Me Anything, as long as it's respectful. I'm not going to sit there and field a bunch of, you know, rude or inflammatory questions. I have a virtual assistant and she will delete them if she sees anything messed up so there's no point in me really doing it. I'll, I'll pick the ones that I think are really cool and I will answer them to the best of my ability like I did today. I just want to say again thank you and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you soon at a live gig or something. Oh one more thing. I wanted to mention that 
I am going to be performing at the New York Comic Con on September 12, 2015. I'm going to also be possibly organizing a flash mob to my song, Like I Do. The link I will put in the description so you can listen to it yourself. If you would like to be a part of this flash mob, please email me at gata at thegatanegra.net or join the mailing list, which you can also find at thegatanegra.net on the first page. And, you know, we'll see if we can get you in there. If you're in the area or if you're just coming to see the con, check out newarkcomiccon.org and, you know, find out all the information you can. And hopefully I'll see you there. Yum, yum. <laughs>